וישנתיהם. The stool became the most sacred object in Ashanti culture, symbolizing the soul of the nation and the unity of the Ashanti people. The Asantehene, or King of the Ashanti, was the custodian of the golden stool, and his authority was seen as deriving from it. Social structure in the Ashanti Empire was hierarchical, but also inclusive. Society was organized around clans, with each clan having its own traditions and responsibilities. 
The king and the royal family occupied the highest social status, but commoners also had roles and responsibilities that contributed to the overall functioning of the empire. Art and architecture were also important aspects of Ashanti culture. The Ashanti constructed impressive buildings, including palaces and shrines, and their art often featured intricate carvings and vibrant colors. Festivals and ceremonies were integral to Ashanti life, celebrating everything from religious rites to significant historical events, military organization and expansion. The military was a key institution, playing a key role in both the expansion and defense of the state. Ashanti army was well organized and highly disciplined, with a command structure that mirrored the political hierarchy of the empire. The Asantehene was the supreme commander of the army, and each provincial chief was responsible for raising and commanding troops from his territory. The Ashanti military was renowned for its effectiveness in battle, particularly in the use of disciplined infantry formations and strategic planning. The army was equipped with a variety of weapons, including spears, bows, and later, firearms obtained through trade with Europeans. The Ashanti also developed a system of fortifications and military roads to secure their territory and facilitate the movement of troops. One of the most significant conquests was the defeat of the Denkiera Kingdom, a powerful Akan state that had previously dominated the region. The victory over Denkiera marked the emergence of the Ashanti as the preeminent power in the region. The Ashanti continued to expand their territory through a combination of military conquest and alliances, eventually controlling a vast area that included parts of modern-day Ghana, Togo, and Côte d'Ivoire. Decline and Fall The decline of the Ashanti Empire began in the late 19th century, as the empire faced increasing challenges from both internal and external forces. The major factors contributing to the decline was the growing influence of European powers, particularly the British, who sought to expand their control over West Africa. The British sought to undermine Ashanti power by supporting rival states and encouraging internal divisions within the empire. The Ashanti-British conflict came to a head in a series of wars known as the Anglo-Ashanti Wars occurred between 1824 and 1900. The First Anglo-Ashanti War in 1824 to 1826 ended in a stalemate, but subsequent wars saw the gradual weakening of Ashanti power. That is all we had for you today. Please subscribe, like and comment. Thanks for watching.